Hello everyone, it's Machi. Um, welcome to the Love Freely Tribe. Again, I'm speaking quietly because this is, I don't know, it might be 11 something p.m. And uh, my fiance is asleep right over there. So, um, yeah, you all can send him love and thank him. And I know I will continue to thank him and, and you know, share my gratitude for him for um, supporting me and because we have limited space and we're sharing this room, um, sometimes I have to have the light on when he's trying to sleep for work in the morning, so, and I hope that you can't hear my TV too much in the background, um, I felt like if I can at least talk lower than the TV volume, then it wouldn't be extremely distracting if he were to hear my voice, so, I didn't want to turn it off because then I feel like all he would be able to hear is my voice. Which is... I'm just kidding. <laughs> just a joke, spirit. Okay. So, um, now that I've cleansed the space, I just want to say this is not how I intended on doing the new moon um, reading video. I wanted to... Well, I know, first of all, we're in the um, waxing crescent phase now. Uh, today's July 22nd. The new moon was on July 20th. Um, but, so not only did I want to do it on July 20th, um, but I wanted to, you know, I guess take my time with it more. Not that I'm going to rush through this, but I feel called to do this right, right now. And so I'm going to do it, say what needs to be said, and head off into uh, my little bubble for the rest of the night and get some things done that I uh, want to, um, that I am here to get done. So, yeah, it's not what I planned, um, but I, th I feel like it's right, and I, and I love that, and... Um, uh, yeah, I've got my candle burning. I've got some crystals in front of me that I still need to set individual intentions for. But um, my staple is always clarity, love, success, protection, peace, authenticity, and truth. Not to mention our highest self. Um, so yeah, um, I've got a lot of protection around me right now. Um, for whatever reason, um, I, myself, of course, watch, um, a couple, well, one primarily, like, primarily just one, um, light worker, uh, but now I've found a second one that I'm kind of into. <laughs> it's okay, <laughs> Okay. I think I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> I have this bag and the bag <laughs> fell down. <laughs> so I guess I'm getting too sidetracked. So here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna get into it. Not gonna not gonna argue with that. That gave me chills, I'm not gonna lie, that was a little frightening. It's all good though. Um these cards are already charged um, with the attention that I've already discussed with you. Um, since we're not in the exact new moon anymore at this point, um, the reading is going to be mostly, like, the reading is going to be focused on um, just this, this moon, new moon phase that we're in um, from now to the next uh, full moon. Um, I guess I, it would make kind of more sense if I did a reading from this new moon to the next, but I feel like I'm here to find some advice, uh, to get us from here to the next full moon. And the next full moon is August 3rd, and full moons are when you celebrate all the stuff you got done, so maybe, uh, the advice we're going to get and the insight we're going to find, um, you know, for ourselves personally um, and as a collective, maybe that's going to push us to get stuff done by the full moon. <laughs> Phew! Still just a little shaken up by that bag falling. It's all good. We are here. We are 
live, all right? Um, and I want to, of course, give my love to you. Um, and thank you for being here. And thank you, yeah, as, as I embark on this new journey. Let me tell you something. I have been shuffling these cards since I first grabbed this deck out of the box. Stretch has been on the bottom. So we're going to remember that. I'm going to actually write it down. Um, and yeah, I just want to thank you for being here. And I'm new to doing this on video. Um, somewhat new to doing this, um, like, in general, not privately. <laughs> um, so I just thank you for being here. And um, I guess... I guess I'm just going to jump into the reading, and I can tell you the notes. I, I did take notes on the actual date of the full moon, or the new moon, um, on the 20th, and I want, from, from a meditation, and from just like my meditating I do outside, I look at the clouds, and breathe, and visualize. Um, I do have some notes from that, but I think I need to just jump right into the reading, because it just, the energy just feels like it's like popping like hot oil hot oil in a fryer just like pop and pop and pop um but just to clarify uh, in case you've never watched any of my videos before of course i'm doing this for the new moon uh that happened here on july 20th 2020 today's july 22nd 2020 and we are focusing on from now to august 3rd 2020 um and but whenever you're watching this is the appropriate time that you're here to watch this so and of course i'm new you know what we're just gonna go with it i learned today <laughs> I'm, oh, yeah. focus <laughs> My spirit guide to like focus. I'm trying. I get nervous and then I over talk. It's all good. But at the same time, it's me. I'm not gonna, not going to be mad at myself for being me. Okay, I just love you all. Thank you for being here. Okay. Anyway, I'm using this deck called the Vortex Deck by Gabriella Rosie. Um, her Instagram is at Gabriella Rosie. I will put it in the description, and I'll also put timestamps in the description um, to help you navigate this video more. Because there is a couple things I want to do at the end, maybe like one or two things I want to do at the end after the reading. So if you want to stick around for that kind of fun stuff, um, yeah, you're welcome. You are welcome, not you're welcome. I don't know. <laughs> you are welcome. Anyway, uh, and the vortex deck um, is basically. Just some very cute pink cards um, with little bits of advice, one to three words, um, to help keep us in our highest vibe, uh, keep us back, put us back into the vortex, especially when we're feeling low, stagnant, confused, and all that. And uh, here at the Love Freely Tribe, all we, um, all we're trying to, whoa, I got one popping up. All we are here trying to find out is. Uh, what we can do, uh, we're asking spirit, you know, what we can do to stay focused on our love for ourselves, our love for one another, um, our love for the collective, and everyone on this planet, um, every living being on this planet, the planet herself, um, and just, you know, what, what can keep us in our highest self, what can keep us focused on living, uh, living freely and loving freely, um, and so I'm going to say about that. So let's get into the reading. Right off the gate, right off the gate, we got planned something exciting. I'm just going to stick that to the side. Hello, spirit. Sorry for getting you know, a little jumbled there. We are here. I'm asking you for any advice for myself and the collective. Um, those watching this video, any advice for them from now to August 3rd, 2020? In regards to, <clears throat> be silly, I love it. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Any more advice for the, co for the collective, aka <laughs> all of us energetically connected, all those watching this video, um, myself, those energetically connected to me. Um, mm, take it. I'll take it. Okay. One kind of like stuck out. Ah. 
one kind of like stuck out and uh, they said don't take it. So I'm going to take it. All right, Spirit. Any other cards? Oh, okay. Cleanse. Thank you, Spirit. Any other advice? Ooh. Plot your vision. Absolutely. That's what new moons are all about. So as I'm pulling these cards out, just so some of you aren't confused, I'm going to go over them um, after I uh, basically hear. I let spirit speak, and then I speak, um, in a sense. So uh, <laughs> you're not just staring at these and supposed to understand what that means. <laughs> but if you do, then you do. Um, but yeah, I'm going to intuitively discuss um, the energies of these cards and the messages from each individual card. Um, and uh, we're going to find out what all this is about. But I like to let spirit speak for a while until I come in um, with my uh, insight. I mean, technically, spirit's speaking through me. Your spirit guides speak through you, through these messages, through these cards, through your inspiration and the things, your insight that comes to mind. But I guess what I'm saying is I like to let spirit speak through the cards um, until I feel like they're satisfied and then I go through the cards and intuitively listen to their messages I have visuals um, and uh, bits of insight sent to me about the cards as I'm overlooking them anyway just again explaining myself I'm just we're just yeah <laughs> okay we're having fun right okay sorry all right focus sorry Spirit says I'm too goofy. All right. All right, Spirit, any more advice for us? Any more advice for us here? Those watching this video, those energetically connected to me, us in the woo. Release. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. All right. I'm liking this. This is seeming nice. Okay, I'm liking it. Oh, take it. Okay, take it. Get this one so much lately. Call your best babe. Get that one a lot lately. Thank you, Spirit. I'm loving this little spread here. I'm going to ask you for a couple more cards if you have them, Spirit. Oh, take this, I guess. Yes, dress up. I'm asking if I should take things a lot just because they're coming out, uh, I don't know, just stuck to my finger or stuck to poking out of the deck corner or something. So just got to clarify that um, like it's a divine card <laughs> and not just something that I, oh, hello. <laughs> okay, yes. <laughs> Trust, this might be for me right now. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. I'm sorry. I guess I don't have to be sorry, but... Just a little... You know when things are just so... Things are just so in sync and becoming so clear that it's almost scary to trust it? That's my, that's my uh, challenge right now. So, thank you, Spirit. I will trust. I do trust. Alright. Anything else you want to... Uh, let us know, Spirit, through these cards from now to August 3rd in, regarding to, in regards to how we can use this new moon energy to our highest benefit. How we can use it to love freely and fully. How we can use it to manifest success, clarity, honesty, peace, protection, love, love, love. Ooh. Any more advice, Spirit? Any more advice for us? Any more advice for us, Spirit? Oh. Any more advice? Thank you. Write it out. Ooh, that little, little goosebumps on that one. Thank you, Spirit. And we've got Laugh on the bottom. I feel like you have one more card. Whoa! <laughs> there it is. Lose enthusiasm. Thank you, Spirit. 
One more. Do you have one more card, Spirit? I feel like. Oh, there it is. Thank you so much. And there he is. <laughs> I appreciate you, Spirit. All right. Put this deck away. Always give kisses. Ah. I just heard him say, no, wait, one more. <laughs> Spirit, one more. <laughs> okay. Get sweaty. Yeesh. All right. Thank you, Spirit. We love you. Okay. I'm watching Shark Tank in the background. Hopefully you can't hear it too much. Okay, we're in 15 minutes. That's not bad. All right. So I've got a huge layout of cards here. All single cards. Um, sometimes things come out in pairs or threes, sometimes fours. All single cards. I feel like that is telling me... I honestly might take notes while I'm talking to you guys because I haven't really even taken the time to journal my own personal um, goals for this new moon cycle. Um, so I'm just probably going to take notes while I'm saying this, but I won't let it be a distraction. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling this is a very decisive um, moon cycle. Excuse me. That we're coming into because these are all single cards. Um, and I think as you could see, <laughs> um, I was, the cards were coming out so decisively and they were just coming out effortlessly, um, that I was even questioning, questioning, uh, like the authenticity of the pull, um, of the cards that were being pulled so I think this is a message to say um, to be decisive this moon cycle so from here to August 3rd be really decisive and trust big time trust just big time trust with your decisiveness just it is it is what you feel it is if it feels like a duck looks like a duck it's a duck trust it if it feels like the decision that you're going to make, want to make, need to make, should have made, whatever, trust it. So, I guess take away the should have made. We can't change the past, but I'm just saying. If, you get, if you've had an opportunity to make a decision in the past and you didn't make it and the opportunity is here again, and you're like, well, nope, yes, it's a, it's a yes, okay? <laughs> it's a yes. Whoever needed to hear that might be one. It's a yes. I'm looking over here like the lens is over there the whole time. The lens is right there. Whoopsie daisy. Alright, here we go. Okay. So, our first card we pulled was plan something exciting. I like that. Um, that is big, 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 big new moon vibes, if I dare say. So, um, yeah, now's the time to plan your goals. Um, plot your vision, which is also over here, um, and get excited about it. Whatever goal you're trying to set for yourself, don't just set a mundane goal for this moon cycle. It's not, it's not the energy that you just want to be like, I, hopefully I'll clean out the refrigerator, <laughs> which of course, if that's your exciting goal, go for it. But you know, make it. Whatever you're going to plan, get excited about it or purposefully make it something that's exciting to you so that you will, without a doubt, keep that high vibe energy um, of excitement while doing it or while, you know, getting ready to do it. Um, sorry. Nose. Nose issues <laughs> during, like, doing this stuff. It's very interesting. And, um, I honestly, again, because I'm tapping into where my trust issues are, sometimes I think it's, like, psychosomatic because there's a, a, a reader, a psychic, and, um, she says she's not an astrologist. She's basically an astrologist, um, who, her nose gets very itchy when she does readings and channelings, 
and the more that I have been um, doing readings, the more itchy my nose has gotten. So I think we are connected in that way. Anyway, where am I at? So plan something exciting. Whatever you plan, make sure you get excited about it. Make sure um, it's something that is going to, you know, get you amped up so that you really can accomplish it. Um, because one of the best ways to allow miracles into your life and one of the best ways to remove blockages and keep you in that high vibe, like that state of being where like surprises and miracles and things just come to you, you know, that you think just happened to lucky people. It, it, the, it, I can't talk. <laughs> the best way to get into that headspace to where you can be one of those lucky people because you are. You just need to open yourself to it. Is to get excited. That's what I've been uh, learning. Is when you have a feeling of excitement about something, like this childlike excitement, it makes it so much easier for spirit, for the universe to, whoosh, like arrow, bing, send those little miracles poof, right into your life. You gotta get excited. Open that door to your heart, to your mind, to your spirit. However you want to visualize it. I'm a very visual person, okay? Get excited about whatever it is. You know, and not just that, this could be a trip that, you know, is something to do that's exciting. So maybe you're planning on doing something exciting, like, oh, I want to go do something fun, you know, something that gets you excited. But whatever it is, whatever you're planning, even if it's a, a, a job or something about your job, you know, make sure it's exciting to you. How you manifest it or how you, um, like, write it down. Like, even if it's something that is hard work or whatever, make sure when you're talking about it and when you're writing it down and, and being there with it, make sure it's getting you excited just just thinking about it. Um, something exciting. This could go a couple different ways. Some of you need to step out of your comfort zone and do something a little bit like plan a goal for yourself that's more exciting than your basic plan that you would have for yourself as far as monthly goals go. Some of you just need to get excited, even if it is crappy work. <laughs> Not to say crappy, but even if it is work, some of you just need to make it exciting. Get get excited about it and think and visualize it finished and just be in that childlike headspace every day when you're at work or doing the work and be like, I can't wait. Oh, this is so great. It's gonna be awesome when this is done. <laughs> like, you just really gotta, again, we're getting silly this month, baby. I can already feel it. We're getting silly. Okay, I love this energy. <laughs> Whew, I was born for this. Anyway, so, and some, or some of you just need to actually plan going and doing something fun. <laughs> Me, maybe. <laughs> I think I need all three, to be honest. So, this is amazing. Uh, plan something exciting. I love that. Thank you, spirit. And then we had gotten Be Silly, which you've already seen come right out of my body. <laughs> I'm still silly. I'm being goofy. And you know why? I'm just feeling this vibe right now. I'm feeling excited. The more I even say the word exciting, I'm getting excited. And it's making me silly. And talking to you makes me silly because I love talking to you. And this is just... What a life. It's so fun. I just... You don't even know. Like, I mean, you maybe you do know, but... I'm just, I, as I'm guiding you through what my spirit guides are telling me, I'm being guided. Keep that in mind. And where I'm being guided to is this place of just, you know what I mean? And you will if you don't. But if you do, you do. So we're going to be silly, okay? Because another uh, good way to stay high vibe, again, is to tap into that inner child. And what do children love to do? We like to be... I'm cursing. I curse in my videos, just so you know. We like to be fucking... Oh. Ah. <laughs> it said low battery. I don't know. I'm going to pause and restart just for the sake of my microphone because I know sometimes it messes up. Okay, sorry. Low battery. That's not fun. <laughs> but we still don't smile about it. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to get silly. I haven't been laughing enough. If you haven't been laughing enough either, it's time to just fucking enjoy it. Have fun, especially if you're a creative person. I'm hearing like, like you're having that creative block because you're not having fun. You're having that creative block because you're trying to do, 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 do work, 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 work. 
grind, 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 grind. It's time to have fun again. Have fun with it again. Because you know why? That shit is, like, contagious in a good way. Like, it's magnetized. Because if you make a piece of art or whatever it is you're doing with fun and with love and with joy in your heart, it's going to evoke that into others when they see it or whatever. And not just, not just, ah, not will, oh my gosh. And that will not only, ooh, that will not only um, benefit them energetically and those around them because they will then be like shooting that good vibe um, at someone else in their day or online or whatever. Not only will it do that, which is exactly what the world needs uh, all the time, but I'm hearing it will make it more promising that someone will buy stuff from you or someone will donate to you or someone will come to you with some really awesome, like, gratitude or just something that, that will be of value to you will come to you more easily like with more ease if you create things and not just create things but if you just create moments in your life that out of fun and out of joy because even if you're not waiting to receive a tangible thing or um you know something like money or whatever if you're if you're waiting to receive friendship if you're waiting to receive love or something like that creating more moments out of life that come from pure heart and soul like that inner child space of just joy and love and silliness and all that good stuff that life is just that makes life so sweet sweetness i keep hearing sweetness 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 um yeah that's what's going to make you a magnet for the miracles that you're wanting and not just that but you're going to you know evoke that out into the world onto others and that is literally the best thing in the world if you're gonna ask me sorry um so i love that be silly enjoy what you're doing so you can reap your reward so you can not even reward don't need it's not even about doing something for a reward it's just living purely honestly openly with love and joy and spreading that and then also receiving it because what you put you you get what you put in i guess is what i'm hearing like you get you get what you you take in what you put out or or i'm not really sure but um the exact saying but yeah so if you just if you put it out (laughs) now i feel like this is sounding like something dirty (laughs) but if you just do things from a pure place of joy and happiness one you will create a better product i'm hearing two you will create a better relationship or a better energy around yourself to attract that's that's the word thank you spirit attract the relationships that you want attract the things that you want if there's things you know like more sales in your shop um or more connections or more clients, or whatever it is, Um, more hours at work, Um, you know, a a new job entirely, Um, just like a new friend, something, okay, have I said enough about it, be silly, live from here, live from that joyful heart space, that says, you know what, it's a good ass day, (laughs) okay, So come back to this when you need it any time in the day. Remember, Machi and her spirit guides told you, be silly. Um, And that doesn't mean to be a goof every moment of the day unless you want to. (laughs) But it does mean to, you know, open up. Don't take everything so seriously. Enjoy the life that you're living. Enjoy. The things will come to you more. And more quickly, I'm hearing, if you enjoy your life and you enjoy what you're doing. So if you're dreading your life and dreading what you're doing, you're creating block after block after block after blockage. And the good stuff can't come in. The good stuff can't find you. You gotta light that beacon right here and, you know, be you and the things will come to you. Like flies to a what? Like flies. What is 
<laughs> I don't know, spirit. One of my guides said, like, flies to something. Like, flies to honey? The only one I know is, like, flies to dog shit. But I don't want to say that. Like, flies? I don't know. They're trying to tell me a saying about flies. Like, it was a track. <sighs> anyway, moving on. Um, I think then... Um, we reached... I don't remember which one came first between these two, but plot your vision. We already spoke about. This is clear. This is clear. This doesn't need a lot of clarification. This is just saying what you want. Plot it out step by step. And when the steps are too big and you're not reaching them, make the steps smaller. And when those are too big, make them smaller again. And just plot exactly what you want. Sorry, I'm focused on my cat. Um plot exactly what you want this is all about new moon energy new moon cycle energy i know we're not technically in the new moon today anymore but new moon cycle energy um i mean it's just to take advantage of starting at and we'll get to the full moon and we'll be like look at all we did look at what we did um plot your vision i don't have any really anything else to say about that plot your vision I'm hearing and stick to it. Ooh, spirit. Okay. Plot your vision and stick to it. Plot your vision and stick to it. I feel like I heard like or else. <laughs> but I'm not going to add that in there. That might just be uh, my anxiety. <laughs> Plot your vision and stick to it. You got this. I hear that too. That's a good one. Plot your vision. Stick to it. You got this. Plot. Stick. You got this. Sweet. All right. So then we have cleanse. Um, cleanse your energy. This is a great time and a great month. I get not really even a month. The full moon is August third, so it's really not too far from here now. But it's a great time a great few weeks to really just harness the energy of the planets again i'm not an astrologer i'm not an astronomer um and i'm still learning about astrology so i can't speak too much on it at this point i'm still learning uh, i just don't want to like misinform you um but based on the things that i've read and learned learned from others uh, who do a focus and study on, on astrology it's just a really great time to you know kind of be watery so to speak because there's a lot of water sign energy going on um uh because the new moon was in cancer and so just kind of i don't know melting into yourself is what i'm visualizing like just melting into yourself like you yourself are a nice warm cool that nice warm bath i say cool because i was thinking like peaceful like chill like a chill like how bath the idea of a bath is just like this chill relaxing vibe like imagine that you just being in yourself you embody that vibe of a nice warm bath and you know that causes you to release your worries release your stress release the matters of which you cannot control. Ooh, spirits helping me talk real fancy today. I haven't been able to talk very clearly, and I'm liking that. Um, and this cleanses you. Okay, they're telling me to ease up on being silly for a second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so, um, but yeah, that this cleanses you. This definitely cleanses cleanses you if you can find, if you can embody that vibe of like I I am a bath like even that is silly but it works I am a bath um this cleanses you this cleanses you sorry this, there's a lot of animals in this house so they're, they distract me and again kind of triggers my anxiety here and there but we're good we're good um so uh yeah that's why i still got my root chakra healing going my friends because yeah girl be struggling with her um anxiety but it's all good i've struggled with anxiety since a very young age and it's just something that i constantly have to work on and i'm cool with that and i'm cool with it 
we okay we surviving okay so much love to you out there struggling i love you it's gonna get better i promise whoever needed to hear that i promise you it's going to get better i do promise you it is anyway cleanse yourself cleanse your energy if you work um with these type of things crystals and sage and things that help you feel cleansed go for that do lots of that cleanse your mind meditate I meditate a lot, but it's always nice to have a reminder um, because sometimes I get so brrr, I forget what I'm here to do, baby. Um, to see, see beyond what we can see right in front of us. So, anyway, but I like this idea. I like this silly, goofy reminder to keep to yourself that uh, when you're oh, and then. When you're under a lot of stress or when you feel like you're blocking yourself from stuff or you just are fixated or, you know, you just don't feel balanced, um, whatever's bothering you, even if, even if there's like an emotional balance, you feel extra angry one day, oh gosh, extra jealous or something. Um, I have no idea what the problem is right now. Um, I'm not wearing pants, so if it faded out and faded back in, or cropped out a different way, that's why. Because <laughs> I stood up um, to go to, the, to my door, um, and I forgot I wasn't wearing pants, so there's that. Anyway, you are a bath, you are calm, you are collected, you are chill, you are just... <sighs> you don't need to hold on to everything all the time, okay? So keep that in mind this month. Cleanse yourself. Ay, ay, ay. Yes, I know. Yes. If you need to cleanse your energies and the things that you hold on to, release them. Melt into yourself. You are a bath. Um, and wash away. Wash away what you don't need attached to you anymore. All the things you hold on are like specks of dirt. And some of the dirt just won't come off, but... Let it soak, just like dishes. Let it soak. Let yourself soak. Soak in the feeling. Soak in yourself. Soak in your space. Soak in the sun. Soak in a nearby body of water. Soak in an actual bath. Soak in some sage. Soak in some bonfire uh, smoke. You know, respectively. Don't, you know, make it hard for you to breathe. But just let it soak. And then, uh, and then we'll rinse it off. It'll be cleansed. Don't rush it. It's all coming off. All right, moving forward. We've got release. I think this goes with cleanse. I think I could have kept those, kept these together. But yeah, we're gonna cleanse. We're gonna release. Um, we're gonna release. We're going to release. We're going to let go of the reins, is what I'm saying. We're going to let go of the reins for a little while and just ride. And I don't think that means, like, lose lose control of, like, um, things that you are trying to do. I think, like, say there's something that you're trying to, like, you know, focus on and get done and, and you know, put the work in. I don't think it means, like, let go of that, but, like... Eh, see how see how it works out. I don't think it means that. I think it means like let go of the reins on what you are trying to control. Like let go of the reins on all my all my pets are just being so weird right now. Let go of the reins on what it is that you're trying to control. Um 
yeah, especially, um, especially if there's people, like, if you're in charge of people, I feel like there's someone who's, like, in a management position watching this, if you're, like, in charge of people, and you just feel like no one's doing it how you really want it done, and it, I'm sorry to say this, I'm just telling you, I'm hearing, like, you might be, like, it might be ego, like, like a, imbalance in in your ego right now like not to say anything bad about you but that's just what i'm hearing um what i'm intuitively feeling um maybe just let go of the reins um on trying to control especially you know the actions of others because one you will never really be able to do that ever um but i'm hearing specifically for someone maybe literally just one person like let go of the reins in that professional environment just for this moon cycle here um that we're in even if it's just till august 3rd or till you've you know you feel more relief or you know you feel more uh a better in sync uh flow in your workspace if things just feel crazy and you just can't seem to keep up picking up after everybody's messes is what it seems like um i'm like visualizing like just let the reins go just let them go for a little while don't let your place you know crumble to the ground but just maybe check in with yourself on if you're trying to grip too hard on controlling people's actions when really like it could be coming from a place of an imbalance in your ego or something to do with just how you're perceiving um life right now because it's high stress environment so um no one's blaming you for that no one's blaming you for feeling that way um and I don't I don't take away that you're not having compassion for anyone I don't take away that at all I just take away that I'm feeling as if that you um you know you just want everything to be perfect and you're trying to kind of set everybody in the right direction but they're kind of scattering like a bunch of ducklings you can't keep in a row and when you have put in as much work as I feel like you have um, maybe this new moon cycle is just your opportunity to let the reins go just for a little while, just to see, you know, how it feels. Even if it's for just one minute, or <laughs> one, I'm hearing one day, so even just give it one day, just let it go. And honestly, I think that resonates for everyone else, um, receiving this message right now, uh, as well as myself, is that all the things that we're trying to control right now um, in our lives in general, maybe if we just give it one day, what would happen if just one day we just didn't, didn't try to control any of it? You know, not, not, you know, stop taking care of ourselves or people that, you know, we provide for or anything like that. Like not trying to, you know, cause complete anarchy in the household or you know bring any uh bring any anything bad to like anyone's health or anything like that but like all the things that we want so bad that we're like why can't I have this I'm working so hard for this and I just don't have this or why can't I seem to get up and do this and procrastinating over this and I just want to do this or how come they always make me feel this way or they do this and they don't understand me with this all those things but if we just let them go for like just one day start there and then maybe we can let them go all the way through to august 3rd so we can really focus on what matters which is everything that's coming from the heart everything that our inner child our true purest fun lovingest free lovingest self wants we can focus on those things we can plot that stay focused on our exciting thing that we're planning for and our goals and stuff like that. If we just released all these, maybe just one day, it's a nice challenge. I feel like that's a challenge card, spirit. <laughs> all right, and then we have dress up. I have been getting big, big, big energy since the new moon. So that's two days of outwardly looking like who you feel like on the inside and that's not to say like you know um that's not to say I mean it could be big or small I guess it just depends on the person um check, you know keep yourself in check when I say this as far as um 
I'm just going to be honest with you. As someone who struggles with body dysmorphia, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to encourage um, someone who is struggling with that to harm themselves in any way. Um, you know, as far as you know, creating an image for themselves that might not be in their health's best interest. So I'll say that. Um, and again, any advice that I'm relaying on to you, even if you're receiving it and you're resonating with it, it's not, I got a card today from a reading that someone else did that said nothing set in stone. So you take with what you would like. Um, I encourage um, anything that you find inspirational, motivational, or that hits your heart, I encourage you to run with that and really, you know, at least journal, at least consider what it is making you feel and telling you inside because it means something. But of course, um, this is essentially for personal purposes, um, even entertainment purposes. So I just wanted to make that clear um, with those watching because I don't want anyone to feel pressured um, to do something uh, because I said it. Um, this is just advice you can choose to take what you will or choose not to. And um, sometimes, even though with stuff that resonates with us, sometimes we don't act on it right away. And we just needed to hear something to give us a little extra little push in life. And that's totally cool. That in itself serves its purpose. You're always on a divine path. You're always noticing and hearing what your spirit guides and what the universe wants you to see and hear. And I want you to believe that. And spirit needs you to believe that. Okay? Anyway, so... Moving on. Sorry. I'm getting distracted. A lot. <laughs> this is a decisive time, and I am extra distracted. Um, so, yeah, I've been getting this big vibe about, like, outer, like, looking how you, how you want, looking outside how you feel about yourself on the inside, like, how you see yourself on the inside, like, as far as our human self goes, like, making our human self look how we feel, our human self should look on like about ourselves on the inside does that make sense so this might mean you change your hair color this might mean you finally you know buy some new clothes this might mean you i don't know do some kind of body modification safely securely hopefully um just something like maybe maybe instead of just rolling out of bed since we're all a lot of us are home with the the pandemic going on instead of just rolling out of bed and spending your day like that maybe we throw on some makeup or we i don't know do something um that kind of boosts our morale from the outside in um yeah that's what i'm feeling from this card i'm not really i'm also kind of getting an energy of like you know, when you're plotting these really exciting things to, you know, really give it the works. Like, really dress it up how you want it, you know? Like, so if you're planning a wedding, some of you, if you're planning, um, if you're planning a project or something and you just have this vision and even if you don't know what the vision is all the way, imagine when you're plotting it, just imagine anything is possible anything at all because anything at all is possible i'll tell you that that's that is the truth let me tell you again anything is possible anything anything is possible okay please hear me on that some of you i feel like just really needed to hear that anything is possible okay i love you thank you for watching i love you okay so um yeah really dress it up really give it the works you know, like you're at Subway or I'm seeing like a hot dog stand. I don't really go to hot dog stands um, and I don't eat meat. But even when I did, I don't think I've ever been to a hot dog stand. But imagine I'm seeing a hot dog stand and you're just, you're just saying you want all the different stuff on it. You want the relish and the this and the that. Just really dress that up with your life. Dress that up with, you know, your space and what you want. Like maybe even you're going to be redecorating space or maybe even you're going to be... I don't know. Getting a haircut. <laughs> Just really visual, uh, visualize what it is that you want. And even if you're just going to figure it out as you go, in that, ah, in that childlike style, 
where you're just like, ooh, and what if I did this? <gasps> ooh, and what if I did this? You know, really dress it up. Really just uh, come from the heart and have fun. Have fun with it. Um, but also, like I said, could just be about um, getting ready and boosting yourself up a little more each day and step into that, into that state of mind that you feel inside or want to feel inside and uh, represent that on your outside. Um, so, you know, if you don't want to look sleepy fabulous like me, <laughs> maybe um, blow dry, you know, take a shower, blow dry your hair, take a shower, put some pomade in, if, you know, whatever length your hair is, you know, get a new wig, get a new, I don't know, get some new boobs, do anything, do whatever. <laughs> Everyone's to each their own, you know what I mean? So, think about, you know, what your future self looks like. Um, and I'm hearing, like, keep it authentic. It doesn't have to be, oh, my future self has six-pack abs. If, if six-pack abs is an authentic, like, desire for yourself, like, authentically, like, this is something that has been your purest dream of... Oh, I keep forgetting about my low battery. Hold on. Then don't let me stop you from getting six-pack abs. But I'm just saying, on a superficial level, most people want six-pack abs because they feel like they should or it makes them worthy in some way because of this, you know, societal construct or whatever the words would be that we're in. Um, No, I'm hearing to keep it pure. Um, and really think about what your future self looks like. What would make you feel most like you? Write that down. And now I'm staring at this card, call your best babe. And perhaps ask for it if you need help to get those things. Maybe you call your best babe to go on a shopping trip together. Maybe you call your best babe because your best babe is a hairdresser and she can hook you up. Maybe you call your best babe because you need some advice on your wedding. Maybe you call your best babe because, I don't know, you're just like, hey... Should I get my nipples pierced? You know what I mean? Um, You know, maybe you just call your best babe um, in times of need. Uh, Kyler, please stop, Bubba. My poor dog is just waking up out of his sleep every time he hears a noise. And the noise is a dog that is staying with us. Um, Well, not really staying with us, but just like staying here. And, um, yeah, it's just... My dog is just very upset about it. So there's a lot of commotion right now. Sorry, with the dogs. And anyway, I have to remember that my phone is on the verge of dying. So I'm going to get through this, I promise. In due time. So if my phone dies, I will be back as soon as it charges back up, I promise. Or I'll, I'll whip out my iPad and finish this up. But So, um, yeah. And then, uh, and when I say ask for the things that you want, um, even if it has nothing to do with, like, calling, I mean, it could have something to do with calling your friend and asking for help. Um, like I said, if they have, like, a skill, like if they're a tattoo artist or a hairstylist or, you know, someone that can be a good shopping buddy or whatever in order to assist you with, uh, you know, stepping into your your new you, the you that is you, but, you know, it's new on the outside and it's more authentic to who you are on the inside, that's fantastic. Also, this normally signifies calling upon your spirit guides, your angels, to help you. So, if you just really um, can't afford that uh, new tattoo that's going to mean a lot to you or, you know, whatever, and you're just really hoping that you get... Uh, another extra couple hours at work this week or you're really just hoping that you know you get that birthday card in the mail that has a couple bucks in it or you're really hoping that you get another sale or you know some kind of in something that's going to help you um, a- obtain what it is that uh, you're hoping to get even if it isn't anything to do with this card even if it's just something uh if you hit a crossroads, you hit a wall, um, metaphorically, um, and you just need some guidance or you need some help to reach something, it is give and take, I'm hearing, I'm hearing it's give and take, so don't think that you can just ask for things and not put in any work, 
um, as far as receiving them. It's not that kind of time. It's a time where you're you're giving, a, you're giving a lot, so you can take in a lot. Um, so you're going to put in a lot of work. I'm hearing, um, but not like you're gonna, you know. You know, not to the point of exhaustion, but it's got to be equal. It's got to be balanced is what Spirit's telling me. But please call upon them when you need something, when you need help. And they will guide you to the inspiration that you need um, as far as what that work is that you need to put in to be able to reach that. So I'm hearing, like, if it is some type of sales goal, sorry. I'm hearing if it is some type of sales goal. Some of you may be, like, um, independent artists or um, business people small business owners if it's some kind of sales goal um i'm hearing like like ask for it and be specific um as specific as you can and um and then you know spirit will guide you to like um will map it out for you how to how to remove this blockage um so that you can receive um that sales goal or whatever so it's the same thing with non-sales related um, things as well. So if you're if there's something that you want and you don't know how to get it and you just feel like you're trying but nothing's working, tell Spirit what it is. Ask for it. Say please and thank you. <laughs> tell them you love them and they love you. Um, and and yeah, and you'll see you'll see how to move it. You'll see how to remove it. The blockage. You'll see how to remove the blockage. Uh, so you can receive it. But that's the thing is, you know, miracles are happening for you. Miracles are on their way to you, but you need to remove blockages and that takes some uh, heavy lifting, right? So imagine blockages as like these boulders and when you move them, you know, it's like this beautiful bright light appears um, like as if it was like blocking it, right? Say like the bright light was on the ground and the boulder was blocking it and you push the boulder and the bright light's like, yay! Excuse me. That's the idea that I'm visualizing here is that, like, you need to really move these blockages, but that miracle is right underneath there, okay? So don't give up um, and ask Spirit for help if you don't know which way to, you know, if you forget how to push it away, <laughs> you forget how to push this, this big boulder, or if, you're, if you want to learn how to, you know, navigate whatever it is that you need to see or hear or find out um, before you can fully, you know, remove this blockage. Uh, ask Spirit for what it is you want, and they will help you. I don't know when my phone's going to die, but it's making me nervous. But it's all good. Get Sweaty was the very last one. I think I'm going to hold off on that. I'm not going to read, read over that one yet. Um, laugh. I think we kind of discussed this. Just laugh it off. We're going to be silly. We're going to laugh things off. Things are going to happen, I'm hearing. Things are going to happen that, like, are like, oh, my gosh, you know, give you that mood. This We're going to laugh it off. We're just going to laugh it off. We're not going to hold on to anything too much. I'm hearing I'm hearing the setbacks that you'll have from here to August 3rd. I'm hearing the setbacks that you'll have won't be worth worrying about. And really nothing is extremely worth worrying about, like, in a sense. Um, but I'm hearing specifically right now with how the energy is and what's, what spirit has planned um, for you, um, like what spirit sees for you is the things that are, that may happen to you, like jealousies or people throwing shade or people making you feel less than or disappointments or you stub your toe or, you know, you thought you got gas in the morning and you didn't, or you thought you got gas the morning, the night before the morning and you didn't, things like that. Spirit's telling me, any setbacks that you're going to have from now to August 3rd, just laugh them off. None of them are going to be worth any of your extra energy. Um, we're just laughing shit off. We're laughing it off because we're not going to let it get in our way. Um, and everything's essential. And that doesn't mean like, you know, if you experience tragedy, um, spirit is with you. Spirit's going to guide you. Um, and you need to trust them. And you need to trust them. Um, but regardless of that, the trivial things uh, that are going to get in our way, um, even if it's brought unto us by another being who's maybe projecting or something, we're just going to laugh that off. None of it is worth our energy right now. Not a single bit of it. 
I'm, they're very clear. Like, my heart chakra is, like, like rock solid. They're trying to be very clear that the, the honest truth is none of that shit is worth it from here to August 3rd. It's just not worth it. We're going to laugh it off. <laughs> Someone gets in your face or tries to bully you on the internet. <laughs> it's going to laugh it off, okay? And know that you're loved. Trust that you're loved. Trust that anything anybody could do to deter you or any setbacks that could get in your way or any, you know, dressers that could stub your toe. Trust that you are loved unconditionally. You are still the, that, ah, you are still the shit. You are still that bitch. Um, trust. Trust in that. You're loved. You're perfect. You're awesome. And you're working on yourself all at the same time. And that's beautiful. And all that shit. Na, na, na. We gonna laugh it off. Mm-mm. That's, that shit's silly. People be silly. <laughs> and uh, sometimes it's not the kind of silly that uh, we want, but we can still we still laugh it off. <laughs> Feeling like cyber bullying vibes. So some people might be on their shit trying to take you down via the internet. We're going to laugh that shit off. These next couple weeks, we don't even want to argue. Mm-mm. We don't have space to argue. My guys do not like conflict into that. But we do not have space to argue this uh this moon cycle. We just don't. We're gonna laugh that shit ah Okay? We're gonna trust. Big one is trust. Um I'm gonna hold on to this one too. Come back to that card. Um I have gotten ooze enthusiasm, which kinda still fits in with um doing something exciting. So just whatever you do, just be enthusiastic about it. And I'm also hearing, like, if you are innocent, in, if you have to go do something that you don't really want to do, or, you, you know, uh, it doesn't really have to be going, but if you have to do something you don't want to do, be somewhere you don't want to be, but, like, you have to do it uh, for whatever reason, just have enthusiasm about it. Just laugh it off. So if I'm seeing, like, a family gathering that's, like, less than desirable, and I totally vibe with that. I totally understand how that goes. If that's you, if you have that situation coming up, just be enthusiastic about it anyway. Maybe, like, link up with a partner. I'm going to show you in the beginning of the video, but there was two flames on my candle at one point. And the first thing I heard and saw was, like, twin flame. So if you, you know, 11-11 on the clock when I said that, if you have someone in your life um, who, you know, you feel like is your twin flame, like your person... Um, could be a partner, romantic partner, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, 1124 in the clock, is my personal number. Um, or just someone who's just your person. I feel like they're going to be at whatever this event is for one or two or three of you. Um, <laughs> um, that is, like, not fun or you don't anticipate it to be fun. And just cling to them. And y'all are going to laugh and be enthusiastic. And y'all are going to have a good time just because you two are together. Um, and I think that goes for, uh, as well as life in the home, 11.55 on the clock. Um, is like if you're just feeling like shitty, like a shitty day in, at home. And you just, uh, maybe shitty, <laughs> I don't wish this upon you. But maybe you're just feeling stagnant or whatever about yourself. Um, it, it's going to benefit you to just get with that twin flame person and get it and get enthusiastic and just laugh shit off and go have fun um with that person and uh i don't know just basically just step away from your own like musty little dusty little dark cloud that you might have been sitting in because you know we're doing a lot of thinking we're doing a lot of expelling of negative energies and stuff, and when you expel that stuff, sometimes it, you know, especially if you're indoors, it doesn't go anywhere, you know, you're releasing it, but then it's just in your energy, it's in your space, it's in your environment, so I suggest getting out of your environment, getting enthusiastic about something with someone, hopefully your twin flame, someone who just makes you feel good, even if it's just yourself, maybe you're your own twin flame, maybe your dog is your twin flame, like some of you might just have your dog as your twin flame, just get enthusiastic about something with them go somewhere out of your space or even if you just want to like change what you're doing in your space to you know create a new vibe or whatever i'm just hearing like get out of there get enthusiastic and go enjoy something with them this is not the time to sit and fester 
um, in our um, like doubts and just stagnant energy because I'm hearing right now like to tell you like that that's not your authentic self like your authentic self does not feel those negative ways about you does not feel that lethargic like what was me energy like that's not your authentic self that's something in your environment some of you might have illness like it's just something um a little energetically uh it's like stagnant energy um it's not you so if you just change something up go out leave leave your environment go someplace new um or like you know do a new activity in your space or whatever that's what's going to really help you um and how to jump start that is just stop what you're doing get enthusiastic about something just be like you know what why don't we do this um, and I'm also hearing that some of your twin flames will be doing that for you. So this could always pertain to you or someone energetically connected to you. So your twin flame, sorry, might receive the message to help you get enthusiastic about something. So when they do that, allow them, just let them. Sometimes we're just like, no, I don't want to. But, you know, you get a text from your girl, your you get a, you know, that look from your fiance that's like, you want to go do this? <laughs> that's like specifically my life. Um, let them, you know, let people get you excited. Um, you know, people you love and trust, let them get you excited. And I promise you right now, um, it could very well just be spirit, like calling to them to bring that energy to you when you most need it. So trust it. Where's that card? Trust it. Whew, I'm sorry. I'm getting tired. My voice is getting crackly. Write it out. That's what I'm doing right now. This is pertaining to all the vision plotting and the plans and the goals. Please write it down. Sometimes I just write in my phone. And it doesn't really feel the same, but it's still something. But if you have it in you, if you have the energy and the focus in you, take out a pen Write it down. Even if your handwriting is horrible, I promise mine is worse. <laughs> Write it down. It is so, it connects you so deeply with your spirit guides. It connects you so deeply with your ancestors. Just writing letters with ink onto paper. I promise you, it makes all the difference. Writing on your phone is fine too, but if you have it in you, I'm hearing like, please just write with a pen. <laughs> Please just write with a pen. Some of you might be doing creative writing right now, too. That might be one of your goals. Write it. Write it. If you're wondering if you should write it, here's your sign. Write it. Okay? Write it. But yes, as far as New Moon goes, write out your vision. Plot that stuff down. And honestly, even if you never look at it again, you wrote it down, it exists, and it's like a document of, you know, you. And then maybe a year later, you might look through this same notebook and be like, oh, you know, you remember when I wanted to do that? I think I want to try doing that again. You never know. Everything is for a reason. Always, always trust. Even the plans you have today, if you don't tackle them uh, until five years from now, the, the things that you do today always matter. And they're always divine. And you're always on path. And I hope you trust that. I need you to trust that. Spirit says I need you to trust that. Trust it. Okay, last card. <laughs> last card. Get sweaty. Machi does not always love this card. And Machi loves all the cards. But Machi... I'll tell you one thing. Machi has... That's me, by the way. <laughs> uh, Machi has a chronic pain in her back. So this makes me think of working out, which makes me think of pain. And that's the only reason why I love it a tiny bit less than the other cards. But here's the thing. Is we can get sweaty in a lot of different ways, you know what I'm saying? And one of the things that I saw before I even started this video was a little tiny like little preview of like a movie or something. And I literally saw it for one second and it was hot and heavy. It was something sexual. <laughs> so hey, hey. This might be a good time. I'll tell you one thing. It's definitely a good time 
to procreate if you're trying to start a family. I am not at this point. I would love to one day. Not yet. But if that's you, get to work, my friends, because this is a great time to procreate is what I'm hearing. And um, based on, like, the locations of, like, different planets like Pisces and stuff like that right now, um, again... I can direct you to someone who can describe these things better to you as far as planets go. <laughs> I'm still learning, but yeah, that's what I know. That's what I learned. Um, really great time to procreate. And um, so, but also it's just a, it's just a fun, sensual, loving, um, like, I don't know, power time. So it's just like, if you, like, don't take yourself so seriously. Like, if you, you know, want to fool around with your person or with someone that you want to fool around with and everybody's consenting to it, whatever, we just living and loving, baby. That's what we're doing. We're stepping into that summer of love vibe, and I love it. Uh, still lots of work to do, though. Let's not forget that. Lots of work to be done, but that doesn't mean we can't have fun while we're doing it, right? So, I'm seeing sex, is what I'm saying. So, whoever needs to see this. It's time to get sweaty. <laughs> okay. Seeing sex. I'm seeing um, jogging. Some of you might jog. Um, I think just being outdoors, um, even if you're just in the sun and letting, even if you're like me and have some chronic pain right now, I have chronic pain right now, I just have some right now, it's chronic, but it's right now, anyway, if your chronic pain or something is acting up or you've been in pain, physical pain lately to where you can't exactly roller skate, for instance, I wish I could, <laughs> um, maybe just get outside and let the sun get you sweaty, like, let the sun you know, soak in your skin and, and, you know, do something for you that you can't necessarily do for yourself without putting in that effort. Like, you can't mimic the warmth of the sun by being in your bed. You can't mimic the feeling of, you know, your heart racing in a, in a workout or whatever um, by, uh, I was going to say by laying in bed, but I'm like, my anxiety brain is like, well, I kind of could if I had a panic attack, but anyway. <laughs> um... Especially if you're experiencing panic attacks, I suggest getting out and getting some sunlight. That is 100% a message for someone. Um, please go out, get some sunlight. I I can't even exactly tell you why, but I promise it will help. Go outside, get some sunlight. Um, yeah. So that's really all I'm hearing is just some sex. A little bit of movement, like outside if I see jogging, like I said, and just some sun. Get some sun. Let the sun get you sweaty. Um, I'm seeing some, like, yoga, like, some, like, resistance type of working out. Um, like, push-ups is what I saw. Um, so, like, planking push-ups, that's what I'm seeing. So, maybe some of you would be interested in that. Um to keep you focused, to kind of start a challenge for yourself, um, because it takes a lot of focus and, like, mental, like, strength to, like, hold those poses, um, but yeah, just get sweaty, I think it's more about just balancing the thinking from, like, the thinking with the doing, and that's, that is actually, um, now what I'm seeing is, like, uh, just, this is, kind of also hinting at, sorry, I'm getting so tired, I don't, not two two three three on the clock, I just started, like, drifting down, like, into this tired, tired, tired space, I'm so sorry, it's like my eyes are just like, woo, um, putting in the work, this is also a card to say, putting in the work, okay, we've done a lot in here, it's time to get that ass going, and put the work in, that's what I'm getting from this card. And I love that. And I love that. And you know what? I love that. I was going to I was going to say I'm going to I would like to see this like I was going to say I am seeing this as um an overall energy card of this little setup, but I'm not sure. I think we might have a couple if that's the case. But um but yeah, 
definitely ooze enthusiasm about whatever it is you're doing when you're putting in the work. I think this is both. Yeah, I think I think that's why I'm staring at these. I think these are both our overall energy set here, of this set here. Put in the work and have fucking fun with it. Be it. <laughs> but that's that's real. Put in the work. And be enthusiastic about it. Have fun with it. And if it ain't fun, have fun with it anyway, depending on if you have to do it. If it's, if it's really something you hate and it's not in line with your authentic self, then absolutely trash that. You don't need that. You don't need any of that. We laugh that off. Bye-bye. See ya. Don't need it. But if it's something aligned with your true self and you're just keeping yourself from it, you're just blocking yourself from it because you're like, oh, I don't know, think about it more. I don't know. It would be, it would be. Spirit is like, hello. We're in the new moon cycle. August 3rd is around the corner. Get to work. And I do not care if it's not fun. <laughs> Spirit is trying to be your manager right now. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry, sweetie. I don't care if it's not that fun. Have fun with it anyway. You know why? You need to do it. You need to do it. You need some kinetic energy to start that domino effect. You can't just stare at the dominoes and wait for the whole way to see how the end result is. How do you get to the end result of that little contraption that the dominoes are fucking all lined up to? You gotta you gotta hit some of these dominoes down. And sometimes the dominoes get stuck. We well, gotta walk right up to them and hit them again. Get to work. Have fun with it. This is life, baby. I'm feeling like the life that we... I'm gonna say we... Because it's not just you guys, it's all of us. I feel like the life that we want to step into, we're all afraid because we're kind of like, could this really fucking be our life though? Like, you're telling me like that I can have whatever life I want? Could it really happen? But you've planned it, and you see it, and you know it, and you hear the messages from spirit. I'm being told that this life that we want to step into, like... We need to push ourselves through this specific block that we're in. Like, based off of the spread, based from now to August 3rd, there is a specific block that needs to be pushed. That needs to be, re- you know, needs to stop blocking that beacon of light that it's covering. There's a specific one that needs to be pushed. And I'm telling you right now, you know what it is. And it needs to be pushed, like, today. (laughs) From now to August 3rd, you need to get to work on it. And just have fun. Because that's what I was going to say, because this is life. Thank you, Spirit. This is life. If this is the life you want, this is what you will do every damn day. Is put in that work to keep maintaining that life that you want. Okay? Okay? Whatever it is doesn't happen overnight. But it will happen if you work on it every night or day, whatever. Because you'll be in it. Not only will it lead you to a big goal that you probably have, like a big milestone that you probably have for yourself. I'm feeling career-wise, of course, but it could be anything. Not only will it chip away um, to make that masterpiece that you want each night that you work on it, each day that you work on it, but... You will be living it every day. And you will create your sense of identity around this because this is who you are. And you're putting in that work every day. You're like, you know what? I did this today. Like, like if you, if you don't ever play piano, can you call yourself a pianist? But if you put in a little bit of piano practice in every day... And maybe with the mind of creating some kind of masterpiece, some kind of big goal that you're practicing a little bit for every day. But maybe not. Maybe just doing it every day, right? In general, let's just leave it there if you if you want. Then yes, you are a pian- pianist. It doesn't matter if you are like feel like you're better than who or what. It doesn't matter. You are what you are. And right now, there's no shade. Okay, my phone died. I got completely carried away and I forgot that my phone was dying. So I'm just going to finish this up on my iPad, but it's just a little trickier. I, I hope it left off where I remember leaving off, but just know, and, and now I can't remember. <laughs>
you just know. Um, gosh, now I can't remember. You, you are what you do. You are what you think you are because you're learning who you are. You're figuring out who your true self is. And you know, and of course, a lot of you, if not all of you, know who your true self is. But you also are an experience what you do, you know? So it's like, if there's something you really want to be doing with your life, I'm feeling heavily career-wise. There's something you see yourself doing with your life. Make it part of your life. You can't, you can, you can think about it and plan it, and I know that you have, and so this is your sign to get to work. Get excited and get to work because here it is, baby. You're hired. <laughs> Whatever it is, here it is. You're hired. Do it every day. Whatever it is you're trying to do, do it every day. And it's like, I think I said this in something else another time, but there, there's a Vincent Van Gogh quote again i don't know if it's really from him because you can never trust too much on the internet but it says if you tell yourself i can't paint i can't paint then by all means paint and you will be wrong so if you're scared to do what it is you're trying to do say you're trying to you know start a business and every day you tell yourself oh i i'm not a business owner i'm not a business owner until you work on your business every day like sorry once you work on your business, even once, boom, you're a business owner, just like that. And then you can live that out every day. If you want to make music or whatever, but you're like, ah, oh, I'm not a singer, I'm not this, I'm not that. The minute you start singing, you're a singer. Congratulations. And it's up to you to practice it every day and make goals around it or whatever your vision is. So I'm going to stop ranting on that, but I just thought that was really big. It got me like, I just thought that was very big and I needed to tell you guys that. And so I'm going to put these cards down. Again, overall energy. Put the work in. Fine with it as well. Because it's what your authentic self wants. And it's still work. But that's the point. Okay? It's still work, but that's the point. Is that you want it, you know to create that reality that you really want that that dream career that you really want you want it so you have to work for it spirit hears you spirit knows spirit's got it lined up for you but it's your turn it's your turn to put the work in okay and everything else remember about letting the reins go everything else you can't control you can only control what you do start controlling what you're doing Put that work in, and everything else, leave it to spirit. Boom. Trust. Okay, what I was going to do was I was just going to show you this selenite heart. And I just wanted you all to breathe a couple moments and set an intention into it. Um, in regards to love and just being authentic with yourself and, you know, aligning yourself with your higher power and being able and open to receive their messages um, for this new moon cycle on, you know, where you are. Uh, and just picture something that you want or whatever your main, if you have a main goal for this moon cycle or um, something, a main thing that you desire, um, a main intention, just take a couple of breaths and uh, just know that this heart is here for you. Keep this safe. Um, and I will leave that part there for all of you. Um, that's about it. I was going to go over my notes um, really fast. I'm really super tired, but I am hearing that I do need to. I was going to say I'm not going to do them, but then I heard like. Dah, 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 dah. So I'm going to go over them really fast. I know this is a weird angle, but my setup right now is like this little lunch table. I don't really have a lot of room, so my phone was perfect, and then, you know, I gotta charge it, so I'm so sleepy, I'm sorry. 
The notes I took two days ago um, were things I saw from the clouds, um, which I do a lot of cloud reading. Um, I'm not sure if that's really a thing, but it's a thing to me. <laughs> so I don't know who else does cloud reading, but I do cloud reading. And um, a couple things I saw. One thing I saw, it looked like me. Dog. Kyler. Where is he? There he is. Little palm reading. Um, I saw us, and I saw us, I believe, um, the message behind it was, you know, the things you want, the things that you really, really want come to you unexpectedly, and they're, they are always even better than you expected. So, you know, the way Kyler came into my life, it's kind of a longer story, but the way Kyler came into my life was I had this job, I was not really interested in it at all, but I just felt I needed a job at the time, and it was uh, as a kennel technician at a shelter, like a dog shelter, and it was the hardest, I still to this day will tell you that's the hardest work I've ever done, I've done a lot of different, a lot of different jobs, that's the hardest work I've ever done, and I'd only been there two weeks, I hadn't even gotten a check yet, and I, you know, we have cats, and we haven't had a dog since our pit bull, um, Cyrus, passed away in 2015. Well, I always forget if it's 15 or 16, probably just because it was a really hard time, but 15, I believe. Um, and, you know, at this point, it was 2019, and we just, you know, we talked about a dog. I, I'd search for one a, a lot just for fun, like, on my, on my phone, like, for dogs that needed homes. And I always, I always thought I wanted a pug, you know, and I still kind of do want a pug if the time, if the opportunity, uh, showed itself, but anyway, um, everybody kept saying like, oh, you're going to want to adopt something, that's like what happens to all the newbies, they always want to adopt a, uh, adopt a, a cutie when they're here, they can't help it, and I'm like, nah, like, I got, I got cats, like, I'm good, like, I got plenty of babies to snuggle on at home, like, I'm, nah, it's not going to be me, and, uh, seen all the dogs, seen all the puppies, seen all the cats, seen all the kittens, you know, the kittens were kind of tugging on my heartstrings, but one day, I was doing my rounds with my manager that was still training me, and, you know, she was starting to let me do something on my own, and she was like, alright, let's go do this, and we start walking to go do something, and then she's like, actually, will you go help so-and-so in the puppy room, um, because they need some help out there, um, come to think of it. Like, it was so random, and I was like, oh, okay, so my routine was, like, changed, and I thought that was weird. I go in, and uh, I only helped with one thing. I only helped with one thing, because they didn't even really need my help, but she sent me there for a reason, right? Never thought of it at the time, but I was like, okay, so I did the first little kennel thing I see, because they're small little puppy kennels that people that walk in to adopt like they get to see through the room that we were in so it's like more display kennels than like the big dog kennels which are just like big cages or whatever anyway so go to the first little kennel that I see and Kylie was in it and I didn't think too much like I'm like oh he's so small he's so cute never really like was like obsessed with Pomeranians or anything picked him up it's like this glow of warmth like a golden light came over me and to be honest I wasn't really even practicing too much with light work at the time I mean like I've, I mean I've always had gifts I've always used my gifts but like I wasn't really like practicing like um, consciously practicing like manifesting uh, like in the way that I try to now or whatever and still miracles happen um, so if you're not a light worker don't feel like you can't manifest things into your life and um like have miracles and stuff and as time goes on like you'll open yourself more and more and then if you haven't realized your gifts yet you will because we all have gifts and quite frankly we're all psychic in our way and um just the more that we surrender ourselves and reveal ourselves to ourselves and trust in our spirit guides and, and learn more about it like that's really all it takes um again some of us we all have different stories, but I don't get into too much of that, but anyway, 
it just felt like we were destined to meet each other. I couldn't stop thinking about him for the rest of the day. And literally within that day, I decided I was going to get him. And he was still expensive, even though he has a chronic illness, which is part of the reason why he was still there after a couple, it was like two months he'd been in there. He, he's an adult. Um, he did have a, he does have a chronic illness, so that was making it harder for him to get a home. Um, but I knew I had to get him soon because everybody was even telling me, like, he should be gone by the end of the day. Like, you know, it's a busy day. Someone's going to take him. Someone's going to fall in love with him and take him. And that ended up being me. And I got him, and he still was pricey, but I'd only worked there a little bit. Um, and it turned out um, I ended up quitting shortly after because it just was not for me. And I realized it served its purpose. My purpose to work there and have that experience was to find Kyler. And not just to find Kyler, but to get him, to be able to afford him. Because I, I would not have been able to afford him if I didn't have that job. I literally used the money that I made from the short time that I worked there, 11.22 on the clock, to pay for him. And um, anyway, so I think the message was to remember that story. When I saw me and him in the clouds, I think it was to remember that story and to remember that the things that I desperately want, the things I always Google, you know, and I'm just like, oh, one day, things like Pinterest or whatever, oh, man, those things are coming to me. And they're going to come to me and they're going to come to you when we least expect it. And often, it won't be exactly what we wanted, but it's going to be even more than what we imagined. And not even if you don't want to use the word more, it's going to be exactly what we need. And exactly what's meant for us. And what could be better than that? And the story with Kyler um, is just one of many miracles. Um that is proof of that so I think that that was a uh, you know just to keep in mind um, while you're working towards all these big goals that anything literally is possible and everything that you want so badly is going to hit you like a sack of bricks out of nowhere and you're gonna be like is this crazy but you have to trust your gut because that's how I felt at the time I thought is this crazy James is gonna freak out I'm really going to use my, the all the money that I've made, like, this is crazy, right? It was divine. And he's literally just made our lives so amazing, and I just, I, I'm thankful for him every waking moment. He's amazing. He's a great dog, even though he's been loud tonight, but he's a great dog. Sometimes just going to be loud. <clears throat> okay. I saw what looked like a girl looking up to... Um, what looked like some spirits, like, um, I think I saw three, um, but one main one, um, like in a sky, almost like a cloud that looked like a cloud with spirits in it, so cloud inside of cloud, cloudception, anyway, um, I saw that, so I think, again, I think that's just reiterating, um, this to that spirit, you got questions, even if it's just you know do I belong you know just if you got questions go I swear go outside or go where you feel safe kneel down or sit down or get in a comfortable position whatever feels right for you and spirit doesn't mind if you have authentic emotions spirit doesn't mind if you're crying if you're angry if you're confused or whatever just be you you know see spirit as Almost like some parents or something that are just, you know, non-judgmental, unconditional love. And they just want to help you and they just want to be there for you. Um, and just ask. Like, why, you know, why, if you really want me here, you know, give me a sign. Like, something, you know. Like, it's not, it's not weird to do that. If you really want to do that and you really think it would help you. And I'm telling you right now, it would help you. <laughs> uh, for those of you who need that confirmation. Just do it. Go ask. Don't be afraid to ask, okay? Don't be afraid to ask. Um, I'm looking at the word stretch again. So stretch out of your comfort zone. I think some of you are afraid of your spirituality. Some of you are afraid to trust in something higher than yourself. But I promise you, it's not going to do anything but help you. It's not going to do anything but secure all the truths that you feel, that you were like on the fence about about yourself. 
trusting in spirit is just going to secure those beliefs and you're going to step into your authentic you and you're going to feel like you've got this crew that got your spiritual that got your back spiritually it's divine i saw a ship so some of you may be getting into a new relationship or questioning a relationship or focusing more on your relationships lately so pay attention um to your feelings and look out for conflicts and relationships um you know take notes be be open and communicate um and you know the relationships that you want to work on work on them the relationships that maybe you need to step away from for a little bit step away from them it's all good it's nothing we're not gonna we're not gonna have too all these too many hard feelings over anything during this new moon cycle there may be big decisions made and stuff but we don't have to overview it we don't have to stress the situation out if it's someone that you that you want it to work with and you want to just get past something or you want to just communicate past something do it if you want to just walk away walk away for a little bit it's fine you're protected even if y'all circle back again here soon if you need to walk away now or whatever just let it go but otherwise take care of your relationships look out um you might be in a new relationship soon um or you may just need to pay attention to what's going on look out for conflicts be more gentle um and make some decisions regarding relationships i saw an elephant um and it had like a cross in front of it so i'm thinking i had to look that up uh, the symbolism for elephants so we're gonna come back to that i saw a queen so whether you are you know whatever you identify as perhaps your feminine energy is going to step into this power place um where i'm oh, sorry Ugh. um your feminine energy is going to be stepping into this power place this place of like who run the world girls girls like it's gonna be stepping in this place where like it's almost masculine but it's it's just like it's just powerful it's queen energy it's your leader you're leading yourself you're being a role model for other uh, feminine energies out there um possibly you're you know a woman who's just gonna step into your power and inspire other women um but yeah it's just like some queen shit going on um also you could be you could be uh, being treated like a queen soon, I hear. Like, maybe your partner is going to be kind of um, pampering you in some way. Um, so, I like that. And, yeah, but I just I feel power. You're just going to be in your throne, in your zone. In your throne, in your zone, with your crown and your phone. <laughs> I just needed it to rhyme. But, no, you're going to be in your throne, in your zone, focused, leading your empire. A new queen. A queen is born. Queen is not born. A new queen is here? I don't know the word. Maybe you're finally um, getting into that place of, I'm going to build my empire. Maybe you're finally going to take the throne. Go. Good for you. You're going to finally take the throne. You're going to finally put on the crown. Let's run this shit. I love that. High five. Boom. I love that. I cannot make this up. Now my iPad is dying. All right, we gotta get through this. I saw a flame again with the twin flames. Maybe it's maybe you're going to be finding your twin flame. You're gonna realize who is your twin flame, or maybe whoever you feel is your twin flame right now, um, a partner. A twin flame is typically like a, it's kind of like a soulmate, but twin flames are you know like no matter what you do, no matter where you go, you always come back to each other. <laughs> um, soulmates often just they're in your life for a purpose and then they're gone gone out of your life at some point um, twin flames it's just always intense um, even if you you know it's a romantic normally a romantic relationship even if you break up you always come back together even if you want to fight or whatever you always make up and you just can't get rid of each other <laughs> if you found your twin flame congratulations to you because uh, I mean it's just your person and that's amazing so a lot of twin flame energy you're either going to find your twin flame or you're going to start appreciating your twin flame more or you're going to realize the person you're with is your twin flame and you're going to just start 
living in that truth because if, if you know it and you, those who know know, trust it. It's a twin flame, baby. Y'all ain't going nowhere. So no matter what you do, no matter what happens, you're always going to come back together. And I want you to know that. Um, yeah, and just hot, spicy, something hot, something spicy about your life. Like I told, talked about like some sexual energy earlier, but also it could just be like a flame in your gut. Your flame, your passion. I have a red candle and it's making me feel passionate. So your your flame, your passion to keep going, to do your goals, all these new moon things that you're plotting. Um, your uh, a flame within you to get you going on that. Sorry, now I have to go to the bathroom, so now I'm like rushing. <laughs> okay, and I also saw a two and a four. <laughs> And this was birds, so I have to read a little bit more on birds before I open this up, but um, two energy is very feminine energy, four energy is pretty feminine energy as well, um, like numerology wise, and them together makes six, two plus four is six, six is uh, associated with a uh, Virgo sign, and Virgos, again, lots of feminine energy, um, but also, um, like, very, like, get stuff done, so... Bitch is getting stuff done, and that's not to be, like, a derogatory term. That's just me. That's just me keeping up with the slang. <laughs> but, yeah, bitches be getting shit done. So, mwah, love you. Um, and any dudes out there, or we don't identify as a female, um, we're still getting stuff done, using our feminine energy. That's what I wanted to say. Um, uh, and I heard, oh yeah, I have to look this up. I heard, like, this whistling noise when I was chanting. I was doing, like, this, uh, root chakra chant, and I heard this whistling noise, and I wanted to Google that, because I don't, I don't really often hear as, in the way that I heard. Like, when I hear things, I hear them, like, messages and stuff, but what I heard was just very interesting, so I wanted to look it up. But anyway, um, and then... A song that I have had stuck in my head ever since the new moon, um, and a little bit prior to the new moon, is the song, I think it's just called Think, uh, by Aretha Franklin. Sorry, my necklace is bothering me. Um, but you know, you better think, think, think about what you're trying to do with me. Think, think, think. Well, anyway, that's the same song that towards the end, <laughs> 225 five on the clock, but that's the same song that towards the end it goes, oh, freedom, freedom. Okay, sorry. Uh, it's very quiet, tired singing for you. Um, and it's just kind of christening the new moon cycle that we're in. It's just christening it. It's just saying like we're letting out, we're letting it out, we're letting loose, we're being us, we're freeing ourselves, and uh, we also have that power. Like you better think. You know, you know, we're not gonna have conflict with anybody but we're gonna have that mentality by ourselves that if anybody's coming for us and trying to trying to tell us what to do as far as you know like what we're doing is wrong or or judging us on what we're doing as we're stepping into our authentic queen position you better think about how you're talking to me because uh, i'm the queen right now you know what i mean like well and always but and uh, and just feel free in knowing that you can protect yourself like that and trust that spirit's got your back and anything that you're trying to do, you're meant to be doing. So just do it, put the work in, get sweaty, ooze the enthusiasm. Um, I'm going to have to listen to this song probably tomorrow to start my day, honestly. Um, and, and yeah, there's also some love in that song. There's a part that says... Uh, uh, you need me and I need you without each other. There's nothing we can't do. Um, and so again, twin flame energy, baby. I love this shit. Like, what a good reading. I love it. Love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. And, um, uh, and yeah, I feel like there was something else I needed to say, but I'm, I'm thinking about, um, some personal readings I had to do. But anyway, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. And always remember to love freely. And uh, go get them, you know? Go get them this, this moon cycle. And I'll see you on August 3rd. And, you know, if there's any, any energy uh, changes or 
any messages that I get from here to then, of course, I will, uh, I will be here to say hi. Um, and if you want to follow on Instagram, at LoveFreelyTribe, and also my personal Instagram, at MVTCHA. Oh my god, MVTCHI. <laughs> Um, and, uh, and yeah, so I just love and appreciate you guys so, so very much. DM me anytime, um, for anything, and that's about it. I'll put some stuff in the description, some different links and things, and I hope you take care, and I wish you safety and health and the utmost, most beautifulest next, uh, couple weeks uh, that you could imagine and believe and trust that anything is possible anything Mwah. thank you so much hi everyone just throwing this in at the end of the video because i realized i hadn't um clarified i like this lighting it's just like my laptop light this is better lighting <laughs> anyway um I hadn't clarified uh, the things that I needed to look up, so I just thought I would do that really fast at the end of this video, even though it's a completely different day. I'm trying to get my shit on, uh, on the right track, but my YouTube is basically up to date, and so now when I make videos, they'll be posted the same day that they were made. <laughs> anyway, it's all good. You know, we're just uh, doing our best. Hey, Kels. <laughs> Can we move it? No. Okay. Um, I just wanted to throw in because there were a couple of things from my cloud meditation that I said that I needed to kind of do some research on. And then I ended the video and never did any further research. So I have done it since then. And I just wanted to say, um, if you, I was going to say if you remember, but if you're watching this, you're in the middle of, you just saw what you saw. So of course you would remember. But anyway, um, so uh, as far as the elephant with the cross that I mentioned, um, elephants um, are a symbol of positivity, good luck, um, wisdom, loyalty, and um, yeah, and the cross actually like has a very like, uh, like polaro polarized um, connotation to it because a lot of people associate it with love. Um, and like devotion, but then there have been times where the cross has been used as a symbol of hate So I just wrote love hate because it's I mean, it's really how you want to perceive it um, And I think that that's the message itself is that like You have luck and abundance and positivity available to you um uh, through the wisdom of the universe and spirit and everything like that and the loyalty that spirit has for you to to guide you there um, but it's up to you to uh, like take the position of what perspective you'd like to see that in so if you want to take the perspective of the world is against you spirit is against you universe is against you then that's what you'll see but if you want to look at the cross that the elephant was holding as a symbol of devotion um, and love, then, um, you know, then you will be able to have a, like, better vision of all the positivity and good luck that's available to you, coming to you, um, and uh, just, you know, from spirit, from, from uh, the universe, uh, and all their uh, vast wisdom and, and messages and whatnot that they send you. So I thought that was pretty cool. So perspective, pay attention to your perspective. And like even coming from a personal place, it's like, um, it's not like I, I personally will find, will find myself choosing a negative perspective, but what matters is you, ca you catch yourself doing it. Once you start trying to be more conscious and aware of your thoughts and your energy and what you're taking in and what you're putting out um it becomes like you know it's just like anything it's a practice it's like exercising those muscles to where it becomes more of a habit where you you know you release whatever pain you're feeling um hopefully and then you can um you know uh flip the perspective and be able to be like you know what it's still good everything's still fine I'm not gonna I'm not gonna you know have scarcity mindset I'm not gonna have a uh, victim 
remember we talked about victimhood and being a vic being a victim versus being victorious like we're not going to have that victim mentality anymore we're going to change our perspective we're going to see us as people who are just doing our fucking best and everything's divine and everything's fine divine and fine but anyway so I thought that was great. I really liked that to add in for the new moon. So keep that in mind, this new moon cycle. Just pay more attention to your um, perspective about life and, like, when you start to get into negative habits, like, see if you can catch yourself and really realize, like, how much opportunity there still is. Um, and it's just yours. It's yours, but you just need to reach out and grab it. And that's funny because the song, there's like a Paramore song that has been in my head because I saw it on Facebook, like a memory I shared like years ago. And uh, one of the lyrics to a song says, um, when all that is waiting for you won't come, any, won't come any closer, you've got to reach out. And I thought that was really, really nice to hear for this moon cycle that we're in because it's just like, that's kind of like the vibe is like, you feel stagnant, you feel like you're not getting the miracles, you feel like, you know, you, you are doing the inner work and everything but sometimes you know you've got to just reach the fuck out and grab it so if you're not seeing the reality that you want or having the feeling that you want sometimes you just got to be like you know what it's mine <laughs> i'm not gonna i'm gonna change my perspective and i'm gonna grab that abundance my mindset and use it um sometimes you have to do that or you know with just goals like sometimes you just have to be like you know what put your foot down i'm doing this i'm not gonna wait for it to come to me i'm doing it so, I think that's a big message. Um, okay, I'm trying not to, you know, spend all day here recapping you. I just thought that these were really important to hear. Um, and so, um, the birds is another thing I wanted to look up. Birds, in general, symbolize um, compatibility. I remember I had talked about twin flames in this reading. Um, so, again, time for teamwork, time to pair up with your person. Um, there's my person right there and just work as a team together and a lot more this moon cycle and um, be open be uh, communicate openly and be open and you know just I think it's a great time for partnerships um, whether it's your actual like life partner or a best friend or just a co-worker or business partner or whatever it's a really great time for partnerships to really lean in to what you both have to offer to the relationship or the family or the business or whatever and just really respect to each other um, for what you deliver and your unique abilities and just I don't know just give more gratitude and just embrace your like um, your connection embrace your I was gonna say like duality but I feel like what I was trying to say was like embrace your differences I guess embrace your differences um within your pairing you know what I mean like how opposites attract kind of thing really embrace what's opposite about you both and be grateful um for the other person for having abilities that maybe aren't as strong for you and really start to see that open your perspective to that and be like wow you know like you do this and I do this and we're just a great team and use that to your advantage um, whatever your goals may be or even just to anchor you down back into gratitude and just be like you know what sometimes we're different but you know at the end of the day like we're twin flames or you know we're partners and I respect you and it's all love and I like that vibe um, also birds symbolize in general like this heavenly sense um prosperity um and uh like a like oh crap sorry my phone's telling me that it's dying i don't even know if you heard any of that um birds also um can symbolize a heavenly sense prosperity um and like like a pro like a prosperous time is among you like as if like a, a message a signal that says um you know like where you are right now like you're in the prosperous time like it's here it's yours and all that pain and stuff in the past all that confusion and weird you know stuff that you didn't understand that was maybe hard and difficult from the past um was likely just some karmic work that you had to go through uh you know based on like whatever 
you went through in your past life or, or you know, whatever it is you had to go through in order to be here and be able to receive this prosperous time. So I thought that was really, really big to kind of sit into that idea that the prosperous time is now. Like, it's here. It's now. So keep grabbing onto it. Keep reaching out. Um, yeah, I just thought that was really big. I feel like we talked about how... Um, like if you see yourself as you know you're arriving to that divine destination that you wish to be in regardless so you may as well enjoy where you are like and and be grateful for what you have and that's like a big message for this entire year is being grateful for what you have because none of us are being able to get and get and get right now because of money troubles or job troubles or travel troubles or whatever so this year is really big about um, just appreciating what you have anyway because a lot of us are spending more time at home and again like just um, living more simply I guess if you want to say um, but anyway I thought that was confirmation on that message that you know you're here this is the prosperous time you probably maybe not don't see it that way yet but you are and everything you went you struggled through in the past has brought you here to this moment so again with that energy of but reach out and fucking grab it you know you got to keep that in, in your mind it's not like the universe has it all available to you but it's not always going to fall right into your lap um miracles happen um always you know expect nothing like miracles happen all the time but also it's a give and take i think i talked about that too in this reading where um it's a it's not a time to um you know, just kick back and, like I said, something's going to fall right into your lap. Miracles are coming and they're available to you, but you've got to give as well to receive them. And I feel like that was just confirmation of seeing the birds I saw saying, like, you know, you're in it. This is the prosperous time, but, you know, reach out and grab it. What are you going to do with it? What are you going to do about it? So I like that. And then um, I separately marked that two of the birds, I believe, were egrets. They at least looked like egrets, or at least they gave me, like, the visual of egrets in my head. Um, so I looked up just what egrets meant, because I couldn't let that go. And um, white egrets, and they symbolize freedom. And I love that. And it wasn't the song that came to me in my meditation that I said was like the anthem of this new moon cycle that we're in wasn't that song Think by Aretha Franklin oh freedom freedom so I thought that was really cool and so just I think that just reiterates everything just uh anchor into the fact that anything is possible anchor into the fact that the prosperous time is now anchor into the like really truly believe it and trust it the, the prosperous time is now um, unleash that freedom and anything is fucking possible and I think that that I think that that's just amazing um, and uh, the last thing that I had jotted down that I mentioned it was like that I heard this whistling noise when I was meditating um, I'm not sure exactly what significance that has for the collective 150 1155 on the clock when I said that but um, apparently that's just something that could happen to uh, people when they meditate and they're just really fucking <laughs> really vibing um really in tune with the universe uh, that's never happened to me that was the first time it's ever happened to me so I think that's why I wrote it down because it was very significant so I'm gonna pat myself on the back because that's pretty cool that's like a, that's like a psychic milestone for me so um again you know take it as you will but I I I felt um I felt something very I don't know celestial about it it was amazing it was a very just I don't know where else that noise would come from. I mean, it's Florida, so we got uh, cicadas or whatever those bugs are called. And, you know, it gets a little windy and it gets a little rainy and stuff. But uh, that sound, I've never heard that sound in my life. And it was pretty cool. So I think that's just, I don't think, you know, I don't know what to tie to that. Um, but maybe I could just say, like, don't give up on, on your journey if you're going through, like, a spiritual awakening or you're wanting to, to practice more uh, with your light work, uh, like, and in, in figure out what your abilities are and wake up more and whatever. Don't give up on that because a lot of us are, and it's actually, like, a very um, prime time to be waking up. Some of us are waking up and we don't even, we're not even, like, consciously trying. We're just realizing things like, wait a minute <laughs> and so if that's you keep tapping into that and uh keep your heart open always love freely love you so much and uh i will see you 
next time I post a video, it will be on the day that it's post. Like, I, it will be made on the same day that it's posted, and then we'll have everything in tr on track. On track. <laughs> um, but I love you guys very much. And uh, I'll think of a fun reading to do between now and the full moon. Um, I don't feel any big messages um, uh, to be pulled um, for this weekend or anything that we're currently in um, while I'm feel filming this because I'm filming this late. Um, but yeah, I think I'll, I'll think of like a fun reading um, to do or, or something. I'll think of something um, to do between now and the full moon. Um, but anyway, much love.